Sony has revealed their plans to compete with Xbox, who has been constantly pecking away at their, you know, God tier studios. And they've been doing that with services. So this story is going to be all about the recent comments from the Sony CFO on the PS5 software and their plans for the future and how I think Xbox could respond. Let's get into it. All right, this is going to be a fun one, everybody. So basically, uh, this is from a tweet, Daniel Ahmad, and I went into the story to, to read the specific points that they talked about. So these are comments from the Sony CFO on the PS5 software offerings. And basically, there were four bullet points. And I'm like, OK, let's have some fun. Uh, and this is just me speculating, having a little bit of fun about these. And um, the plan for Sony is aggressively invest in in-house studios. So. Let's talk about them because Sony uh, on the PS5, they have more, they want more AAA titles, right? That's what I think that means. That means uh, another Uncharted, I believe, was rumored to be in the works. We know God of War Ragnarok's right around the corner. I'm sure we're going to get another Spider-Man. That's a fantastic franchise. And a Last of Us remake is rumored to be on the way, along with everything else that they've released. You know what? Sony has just made some really awesome games lately, and I feel like the studios that they do have just have not missed. So what are comparable things on the Xbox side of things that we know about? So Halo is basically their God of War. That's what I would say. Uh, their Spider-Man answer is third party WB games, and they get their foot in their door there with Game Pass. Their Last of Us is going to be Hellblade 2. I would guess, or whatever comes from their studio, uh, I'm blanking on, Initiative, the Initiative. Uh, hopefully that is their Last of Us Uncharted Naughty Dog answer. And for Uncharted, I put Perfect Dark, but really it's just like, yeah, I guess Perfect Dark's a good correlation if it ends up being third person, if it's first person, whatever. And, the, and I didn't even list Gears of War, which is a good answer to like a God of War also. So there's a lot of ways that you can talk about how both companies have smartly invested in their AAA studios. Sony has just been on fire lately. They are just releasing really, really excellent games. And look, I'm an Xbox fan. Uh, I know this channel is Xbox centric, but for me to turn on my blinders and just pretend God of War isn't a fantastic game, it would just be dumb. Spider-Man Miles Morales was the bomb. The uh, Last of Us Part Two, you know, I'm playing through that. It's gorgeous. I can't believe the technology that they managed to push into that game. And, you know, Demon Souls, th they have a lot of good games. And for my next point, I want to talk about why I, I do want to see a little bit more from Xbox. So the next point about Sony's plan was to increase development and personnel costs for in-house studios by 180 million dollars so xbox has them beat their hands down but we got to give sony props because they spent less money and they are just releasing hit after hit after hit like i said those studios that sony has they're not missing right halo 5 all of us xbox fans were like okay yeah that story was a little eh, okay look maybe you love the halo 5 story I'm going to go, I'm just going to say like Halo 5 had a lot going for it, but I, I think the common consensus was that that 343 did not hit the bullseye with that one. When you start talking about God of War, Spider-Man, Last of Us, well, okay, maybe Last of Us is a bad example because the internet got all mad about it or whatever. But um, when you start talking about like God of War, uh, Spider-Man, and Uncharted, largely those are quite excellent games. And Xbox... Gears of War 5, and, uh, you know, you, Hellblade, maybe now that they have that studio, Xbox needs to sort of get in the same swing that Sony is in right now, because Sony is just, they haven't missed. They've hit bullseye after bullseye, and I, I want Xbox to get there. That's what I, that, that would be my hope. Man, imagine that Sony is doing their, like, one amazing game a month, and then Xbox is doing the same thing. Wouldn't that just be gamer paradise? That's what I want. I want both companies to be kicking equal a butt. So Xbox is focusing on services and Xbox has them beat hands down on the development and personnel cost for their in-house studios. They have more studios and more money to throw at those studios. Sony 
as I said, has been smart though, and have been tremendously successful with fewer dollars spent and these amazing games coming out. Xbox has to start releasing amazing award-winning games over the next two years, in my opinion. Game Pass is great. The Xbox ecosystem is great. They can rely on that third party thing, but I think all of us are really, really hoping for big things to start happening this holiday with Halo Infinite. And I do feel like that is going to happen. I'm really, really excited to see what's happening. But honestly, they need to like, OK, if you're watching my channel, you're probably an Xbox fan, right? They don't need to sell us on Xbox. They need to sell the gaming community as a whole on Xbox. And we need to get to a space where Xbox is being celebrated just as much as PlayStation is, you know, and I, I think we all win in that scenario. And that's constantly what I'm talking about on this channel. Right. So another thing that they're doing is they're going to establish partnerships with studios such as Haven. If you don't know Hayden uh, Haven, sorry, that's the Jade Raymond studio. And a quote from her press release was, I want the PlayStation community to know that Haven Studios is already hard at work on an unannounced IP. We can't wait to show you more. So maybe this E3, we're going to see the new Jade Ray Raymond game from Haven Studios. And here's the thing. I think Sony, I think Sony is taking note about what Xbox is doing. They would be irresponsible if they weren't, right? So expect more of these studio partnerships to get locked in. And hopefully Xbox is trying to curry favor with the, the big ones also, right? So he, Sony currently has 13 studios. Xbox has 23 studios. So Xbox has them beat with studios. But let's look at the studios that Sony has for a second. Let's look at some of the big hitters. Sony Santa Monica, God of War, Bend, Days Gone, and they're rumored to be working on, or they were working on a Last of Us remake. They're working on a new IP. We know that. We got Naughty Dog, who's working on Uncharted and Last of Us. They made those games. We got Insomniac, Ratchet and Clank, and Spider Man. We got Gorilla Horizon, and we got Sucker Punch, which just made Ghost of Tsushima. I struggle with that second word. I apologize if I got it wrong. But man, talk about quality games they're excellent you can't deny it like what you're gonna just say those games are bad you're crazy now xbox recently with the purchase of bethesda id software mojang they also have their own suite but it might be like not quite what you expect all those sony studios i listed they make banger triple a games now with the bethesda acquisition you start thinking about it this way, right? Are those Bethesda games going to be exclusive? I, why wouldn't they be? <laughs> why would you put them out on Sony? Everybody's like, oh, you want to make, you want to make more money on the Sony platform. No, Xbox wants to win. Like, yeah, they want to be like good to the gaming community and create good things. Maybe they can work something out with Sony where those Bethesda games come out on their console and that works for them, but they make more by driving Game Pass. They make more by getting people to buy their console, getting people in their ecosystem and getting people to purchase things within the Xbox ecosystem. When people, when they further bolster, even if it's third party by allowing Bethesda to publish on the PlayStation platform, when they further bolster their platform by letting those Bethesda games come out there, it's, it's just, I just don't see it happening in the future. It doesn't make sense to acquire a company for 7.5 billion. And that's just me talking like, look, I know a lot of people feel passionately about that. This video is going to be like an hour long. Oh my God. I'm already at nine minutes. Uh, I know a lot of people feel passionately about the whole Bethesda merger thing. But when you start talking about business, Xbox has shareholders to report to. Satya Nadella almost pulled the plug on Xbox one, Xbox at one point, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Like they need big wins and you can have big wins. You can move the Bethesda games exclusive to Xbox and you can still be an industry player. You think Sony is going to let Spider-Man come out on Xbox? Heck no. We're never going to see Ghost of Tsushima on Xbox. We're never going to see Last of Us or uncharted on xbox that's just not gonna happen so when you acquire a company for 7.5 billion dollars do you really think they're gonna go release it on the sony platforms my response would be heck no no 
We want those games. That's what we want. We'll give you all the money that you need to make the best games you've ever made in your life, but we want them on the Xbox platform, and I think that's what's happening. Sorry, I went on a little bit of a rant there about Bethesda. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion on my personal channel, just so everybody knows. Um, who else do they have? They have 343. Again, I have a lot of faith in Halo Infinite. They have the Coalition, Gears of War 5, a technical masterpiece. I love Gears of War 5 and what they did there. Whatever the initiative is working on, come on, initiative. Show us this game that is going to compete with Naughty Dog because you have some amazing talent over there. They have people who worked on Metal Gear. They have people from Naughty Dog over there. They have people from God of War over there. What are you up to? We want to know. Uh, Ninja Theory, as you know, that is Hellblade 2, Obsidian, Outer Worlds, but now they can mess around with the Fallout IP again if they want. You got Playground, that's their racing game answer. You got id Software, that's their Doom first-person shooter answer. And then you have Mojang with 140 million monthly active users bringing people into the Minecraft world. And uh, just a small note on that, that's where I got the monthly active users. I did make a mistake in the other, the other story. I apologize for getting that wrong. Wow. All right. And the final point, this video is already longer than I meant for it to be. The final point was that uh, Sony wants to enhance social and platform capabilities of the games. So interesting, interesting point here. Sony invested $1.3 billion into R&D, likely to figure out new tech to catch up. And this is my opinion. I think they did that to come up with some new tech to catch up to Xbox. Their backwards compatibility is a bummer. Their save transfer is a bummer. But their specific quote was, and here's what they said. I thought, oh, okay, this is their Game Pass answer, right? Maybe not. Here's what they say. We will also work to enhance the social and platform capabilities of games. Uh, okay. Like, I don't get it, but I don't think they're dumb. They obviously know what they're doing. They did say they expect a decrease in third-party games. I'm just going to put up the Ahmad tweet here because I don't want to get anything wrong again but it looks like they're expecting a decrease in third-party game sales. And I got to wonder, is Game Pass stealing their thunder in the third third-party game market? Because Xbox Game Pass had a 34% increased revenue in content and services. 34% year over year. That is quite large. So when you start when they start talking about enhancing the social and platform capabilities of games, you know they have like the game help features built into the PS5. Interestingly, while I was looking up this story, something popped up on Twitter, a new patent, according to comicbook.com, where I get all my PlayStation news, uh, the new, <laughs> a new, I'm, I'm sorry if you work at, it's just a joke. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody who works at comicbook.com. Uh, a new patent could let PS5 users call an expert for help. So basically you would call somebody who's an expert in the game that you're playing like Nintendo power style, but like modernized for the PlayStation thing. That's actually really interesting. And maybe that's where that 1.3 billion in R and D went, but come on, they need a game. They have PlayStation now. Mo maybe part of it's modernizing PlayStation now to compete with game pass. And part of it is this call on expert thing that they patented. Yeah. So they also expect uh lower software sales next quarter, year over year, uh, Xbox reported the same though. Xbox expects lower software sales next quarter. So like not a lot of games coming out right now, right? So when they do those earning reports, it's they're probably going to be roller. But both, well, I mean, Sony, sorry, I don't want to say both because this is a Sony-centric story, but they do expect growth in the following quarter. So I think it's going to be an extra awesome E3 this year. Um, yep, and Sony does expect slight growth in the PlayStation Plus users, but probably not too much. It's probably going to stay largely the same. So anyway, wow, that story was way longer than I meant it to be. So I'm going to wrap it up really quick. To recap, uh, they want to invest in in-house studios, throw money at them. Xbox got, has parity there. Increased development and personnel costs for in-house studios by $180 million. Again, Xbox has more money there, actually. They want to establish more partnerships with studios such as Haven. I think Xbox could take some notes there. Who could they partner with? Not buy, but who could they partner with to bolster their third-party releases? Like that, the MLB thing, 
that's awesome. And I think that's their, their inroads, right? They also want to enhance social and platform capabilities of games. Sorry, but Xbox, Xbox wins there because of Game Pass, in my opinion. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Sony does. Uh, I don't try, I try and make these videos about 10 minutes. They're nice and bite-sized. So I apologize for going so long on this one. It's just, it's a really cool story to talk about. So if you like this style of content, A, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. You just hit that subscription button and then you hit the bell, which has magical powers I hear. You get like a superhero power that you've always wanted. Or maybe it sends emails or something. I actually don't know what the bell does. You're gonna have to tell me in the comments. What power did you get? Anyway, uh, yeah, and if uh, memberships are turned on, you can hit the join button if you want to do that. Thank you to everybody who has already become a member. It's It's been pretty cool to watch that grow over the last, like we've been doing this a month, video every day, right? Videos come out every day, 7 a.m. Pacific time. I'll see you for the next one. I don't want to draw this out any further. Bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day. Say something nice to somebody. Bye.